Stevens Amps. Um, not really a brand that was too much on my radar. I was aware of them from time to time, but uh, it seems like there's this big, maybe small, underground, passionate followers of Stevens Amps. Um, Bernard Stefan, perhaps it's Stephen. It's spelt like Stefan. I maybe it's pronounced like Stephen. Uh, maybe the brand is pronounced like Stefan's. Um, not sure. Uh, I'm going to go with Stevens. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Bernard Stefan came from Germany in 1988 and started working at Valley Arts Guitars. Valley Arts was like the super cool LA guitar custom shop place that Larry Carlton and Luke Uther had uh, was playing their guitars. And a lot of cool stuff came out of the Valley Arts sort of um, lineage there. Uh, and I guess within a year or so, Bernard was building some rigs for the Scorpions and like every amp builder around 88 was looking to do, they needed more gain, more channels, uh, you know, maybe in a rack, all this stuff. So he built a radiator preamp and uh, he built a head and somewhere in the 90s he took the head, which was called the Stevens Pound Cake, and sort of distilled it down into the brick preamp. That's what I have here. A couple notable Stevens users were Reb Beach uh, at some point in the 90s and Michael Wilton from Queensryche. Uh, and this is seems to be after the hair metal boom and sort of into the 90s. And the preamp sort of sounds like that. It's a little warmer and uh, thicker and slower, if you will, than your typical 80s preamp to you preamp what I was expecting uh, but it took a minute I feel like okay now I see what's happening here it's just about thick and fat and I think from the opening like you get that it's it's just a big thick fat sound and there's some really nice little gems to be found in this preamp so uh, let's dig in thank you to Michael Torin for letting me use his Stevens brick and uh, you know I'll show it to you and we'll we'll see what's up the layout's a little weird on this. We've got a complete clean channel. You've got rough, which is your in-between, like crunch, if you will. And there's sort of two gain modes. That's happening here. The gains for those is crunch and meat. And then the highest gain is heat, which is over here, except the gain for the heat is on the right side, and that's labeled not heat but it's labeled drive so it's a weird layout i don't know what's happening there but i'm sure there was a reason this is the clean channel which is uh quite lovely you know <laughs> And as you, well, I grabbed the wrong knob. As you turn up the gain, it gets uh, kind of like yummy. Oops, here we go. This is all the gain on the crunch. I might be clipping. So, one channel. I love when there's one channel that's just awesome. I like all the channels to be awesome, but... sounds really good so perhaps worth the price of admission alone on that clean channel let me show you something else
it's not uncommon to have to turn down the bass knob all the way when you're driving like a clean channel or something like that. So don't, don't be worried. But let's go to the crunch, which is called crunch, crunch, crunch is called crunch. All right. It's rough, rough crunch. So the rough actually does kind of like a Van Halen-y thing, and it's pretty good at it. Let's see, drive, no, crunch. It doesn't have a ton of gain. But it's perfectly good for uh, crunching. So let me show you jumping between crunch and meat. I'm going full gain on both of those. So here we go. Then you go back, let's dial, what did I do? Oh, let's drive. Meat, meat, that's what I'm looking for, meat. Here we go. not a ton of gain but it's fat and thick so that's what you need you just need it to be big and girthy yeah we'll just leave that in uh, all right going over the heat oh you know what let me scoop the mids now on this side Where it doesn't really scoop and that's um that's okay it's still good sounding though so you know you get what you get and you don't get upset here is heat um this is the setting i used for the opening so this is kind of metally i i don't remember if i turned this eeks we'll just stay here so for that uh, avenge sevenfold uh riff thing <laughs> gain but still doesn't go have that percussive fast attack thing
when it goes super high gain, it reminds me a little of the Rivera or the Demeter, and there's like, it gets a little squishy high gain. That's a lot of rhythm gain, gain though. So that's it, Steven's uh, The Brick preamp. I gotta admit, first time I plugged in, I was like, mm, no, not happening for me. Um, and then, I don't know, I changed some stuff, and maybe I changed, and I quite like it. It's quite good. Is it the best of the um, ilk? I don't think so, maybe, but I don't think they're crazy expensive if you could find them. The radiators, I think, are more expensive, but this is pretty freaking solid four-channel preamp. You know, here you go. Steven's the brick.